Track Wrestling with Brandon Slay, 2000 Olympic gold medalist and head coach for the Cadet World Championship team for the freestyle. Let's start back with your 2000 Olympic gold medal. You had a situation where there was a, a doping with Alexander Leopold and you got the gold medal. Give us your perspective on Travel getting this retroactively, this bronze medal from the 2012 Olympics. Well, first, I'm really, I'm really thankful and uh, I'm proud of Travel because I was able to coach him for many of those years and I know his character. That he lives by character first, his work ethic. So I think to know that he did things right and it's paid off for him. I'm just I'm really proud of him. And I think it brings me back to that situation for me to think about how does Travel feel like, you know, how did I feel during that period of time? And I think you uh, you wish you could have gotten the medal in that moment the way you'd already dream always dreamed of, but it doesn't take away from the many, many, many years of hard work you've put in to, to earn. You know that medal, so I'm just I'm really excited for Travell, and I think it doesn't it doesn't tarnish um, that medal for him whatsoever. If anything, I think it, it makes it look even better for Team USA and Travell that he did things right. For you, I think it was pretty quick turnaround, and didn't they give you your gold medal at the Today Show on NBC? It was a, I mean it was a quick turnaround. It was about a month later when I got the medal, so it wasn't quick like two days, right? But. You know, I lived a life with a silver medal for a period of time thinking that's who I was. Like I was Brandon Slay, had Olympic silver medal. And then when I got the call that Alexander Leopold tested positive, they went through the process of saying, hey, we want to do this right in a big way. And so they end up having it on the Today Show there in Rockefeller Center. So it, it was, that was a really special moment. This is a special moment for these guys, Cadet World Championships, Team USA. What do you want these guys to get out of this experience? Well, for, there's 10 Cadet World Team members, and so seven of them, I believe this is their very first time outside the country. And so for a lot of the times, it's just this experience of leaving the United States for the first time, putting on the red, white, and blue for the first time, representing our country. So I want them to, to have that, that, that first time, but also like process experience, uh, but, but also don't get kind of caught up in stuff too much because they still have to put their shoes on, you know, put their signal on and go out there and wrestle and do the things they've been training to do. And I think this is a really special team. You know, we have three returning Cadet World Team members, right? And uh, Richard, you know, um, Robert and Alex. And I know those guys, they want to come back this year and, and, and win this tournament. And I know they want to win individually and as a team. And I think for these other seven guys, they've they followed their lead really, really well. And the team, I think the last couple weeks through our camp has really gelled and gotten a lot closer. What's the vibe on this team? What's the personality like? And we've had no like, you know, no issues. I think it's really they've they've become close. I think they've been really coachable, you know, listening to Coach Jackson and I. And you know, our camp at the Olympic Training Center, they they had the opportunity to grow closer together. And I think I think the vibe is um, confidence. I think the vibe is they want to come over and take care of business and, and that's all I've seen. Today we had a, a practice this morning was pretty structured. And we have one more with some guys this afternoon, but it's been, uh, we've been dotting our eyes, crossing our T's, and we're getting ready to go. What's your advice for international competitions? This is just another tournament. I mean, yes, it's the World Championships, but again, you still have to go out there, shake hands, score points. So you can't make it like so big and so different that you don't wrestle the way you wrestled back in Akron to make the Cadet World Team. You have to realize this is just another tournament. And so if they do all the things they've been trained to do, then we'll see some major success July 29th through the 31st. Your other coach on the team is Kevin Jackson. He coached you at the 2000 Olympics. If this Cadet World Team for the United States wins, can we have a live match between you and KJ? <laughs> no, we're both retired. We'll have, we'll have a big hug though. <laughs> All right, thanks Brandon.